Hello, I am Guy Selga. Today I'm bringing you a very special video, something a little different, something to get you through the Friday for your long work day, the only thing standing in the way of you and your weekend. Bringing you an unboxing and review of this Pizza Hut magnet. See the back there? Made in Hong Kong exclusively for the Ajon Manufacturing Group in Hillside, New Jersey. Officially licensed by Pizza Hut Inc. So that's good to know. Um, you can see the packaging right here. It says Collector Series, which makes me wonder if there's more in this series, like uh, if there's you know, other fast food things like a McDonald's Big Mac box or something. So why am I unboxing a 30-year-old Pizza Hut magnet? Um, here's, so here's why. I got this about three weeks ago, and it's just been sitting on my coffee table. And my wife is saying, when are you going to open that thing and put it on the fridge? And there's been at least three times now in those three weeks that I've picked it up ready to, you know, break the seal and put it on the fridge. But I thought that a 30-year-old magnet, that, that just doing that to a 30-year-old magnet would be kind of disrespectful. Because this thing has survived sealed for 30 years. And it's just going to be like opened unceremoniously by some Yahoo in his you know, living room. Like, I don't know. That just doesn't sound right to me. So I got this magnet on eBay for about $4. And I, I'm not even entirely sure how I, I came upon it. But when I saw it, I remembered that my, my friends, um, the, the McDonald's, uh, Rory and Sherry and Corinne and the rest, back in the day, had this magnet on their fridge along with many other whimsical magnets like this. So when I saw it, I was like, I have to get it because I've always wanted it, even though I forgot about it for over 20 years. So um, I, I got it. It came very quickly. Thank you to the eBay seller for sending it quickly to me. And now I am doing it. I'm paying the respect it deserves by unboxing on video. Now, just a couple more things. I know I'm, I'm rambling on uh, Pizza Hut. I wouldn't even call it close to my favorite pizza. I think it's I think it's the worst. I uh, as far as the big like huge pizza chains go, I think it's the worst. It's down there with Little Caesars, and I used to really like Little Caesars, so to see them fall so far really sucks. Never never was a fan of Pizza Hut really. I, I went a few times, and you know I'd play like Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter and whatever and. You know, it just, just wasn't anything. And then they got rid of all their restaurants, so you couldn't even do that. I do remember they had their Back to the Future promotion for Back to the Future 2, and you could buy those sunglasses, which was pretty cool. But anyway, um, it's not up there with my favorites like Straw Hat or Round Table or even Shakey's. You know, it can't touch any of those, in my opinion. Yeah, Papa John's, I it's slightly better than Pizza Hut. It's in the same league, league though, of, like, bad pizza. Um, anyway, I'm going to open this now. I want to make sure that I get this on video properly. Opening up a magnet from 1985. You don't do this every day. It's peeling off very easily. Okay, first I'm going to take a look at the box. So, it's got a nice design. I'm going to be honest, I don't recall the Pizza Hut boxes ever actually looking like this. They might have, but I don't know for sure. On the back, it's got a little copyright information, 1985 Pizza Hut Inc. It is hollow. Um, so my tip to the designer of this magnet, if you're watching this video, would be that if you would have used actual pizza box material on this, it would have taken it over the edge. It might have doubled what I paid in 2015. I paid four. I might have paid eight if this was actual pizza box material, but it's not. And it still looks good. It's like a sticker over hard plastic. 
So, you know, really can't complain. It does the job. It's got a little nick right there. But I guess, you know, it looks okay for a 30-year-old pizza box. So we got the pizza itself here, and I will say it is in the kind of classic, like, Pizza Hut deep dish pan. I, I want to say it was more of a brown color, though, instead of black. But, I don't know, maybe my memory is, is failing me right here. Again, with, the, with the, the sticker, with the copyright information, you can see some glue marks there. So, you know, uh, craftsmanship is a little low on the bottom, but you're not going to see it anyway. It's not on the fridge. Where it counts on the pizza, it looks pretty good. It looks like we got some some green peppers and I want maybe sausage or maybe those are sausage and those are olives. It's really hard to say. Not a lot of like cheese color. You only really see the cheese coloring right there and a little right there and a little right there. But overall, it looks good. Can't complain. It fits. It looks like it would fit in the box if the box opened. So that's good. You know, at least they got the sizes down right. Overall, pretty happy with my purchase. Even though I'm not a fan of Pizza Hut, I will display it proudly on my fridge and it will be the envy of everyone who comes to my house. Well, that's it for this review and unboxing of this Pizza Hut magnet. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, help me out. Subscribe, comment, let me know what your favorite pizza is. And you know, when I talk about favorite pizza, I'm talking about like the chains. I'm not talking about like the little local pizza spots because obviously those are going to be better most of the time. But you know, as far as chains go, yeah. Uh, but either way, let me know your favorite pizza place and uh, thumbs up and all that. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for watching.